Good morning, everyone. We're starting another early day from our previous store buyer. Again, the same customer. It's the $15 five item order milk, cheese, ham, and some tortillas. So, real easy order to start the day with. I love these kind of orders. And this is why I tell you guys try to stay consistent when you come out here because you will see, and I've said it before but you'll get the same customer over and over. And if you got a good customer, you'll see, oh, I got competition here today. That guy right there is always coming. I don't want to put him on camera, but <coughs> this is what I tell you when you start early or you start at times that you know your customers go, you'll make a lot of money. But let me hurry up and just get this order wrapped up. They got the Easter can, yeah. Give y'all a show of the store, although y'all have probably seen this store a thousand times on my videos by now. But definitely, guys, this is why you start early. When you start early, you open yourselves up to getting more money you start yourself up to getting consistent customers. And then this is why I also tell you do the shopping orders because the shopping orders is always bigger than doing ones at restaurants. This is five items for $15. If I was doing restaurant orders, I'd have to do probably three or four of them to get $15, depending on which size they were. Maybe three, I won't say four, because if you got a $5, you'd be doing it three times. But this, beats all that with just this one order so you guys stay blessed i'm in front of one of them let me grab this and then i will get at you guys later got one last item uh, that milk right over there Where that guy standing but that's it and we are done it took us about three minutes to get this done Now let's head to the checkout. We'd be well on our way. Seemed like a weird place for this stuff to be in. I went soap and stuff. Oh, they must be moving counters over here. Because I know personal effects don't go with paper goods. But as I said, guys, got a little distracted there. <laughs> but this is definitely a good start to the day hopefully this day is monday today so the day after saint patrick's day so we'll see how the day is going to bring probably a lot of people hung over so might be actually a good day today with bringing people food and groceries because nobody's wanting to go out but we will see and i will definitely keep you guys posted i know some of you guys like to see the store so here you go for those who watch for the stores. But I will get at you guys later. Take care. As you can see, this is the order from Hale. I got two orders. Uh, it is over $50. And it probably be a little bit higher only because they've been adding. I don't know why they do that. They really shouldn't let you add stuff while a shopper is in the store. I get they pay you more, but it's just a hassle going back and forth, back and forth. Having you go when you finish an area and then have you go right back into another area. I, I don't like it. To me, I'm done. I get it people forget things but it kind of costs me time when they do stuff like that uh let me grab these uh, I think I'm at. So 
ice cream. Blue bunny. It's funny you get to the last four and I can't find it. <laughs> uh, I'm right at the finish line and can't cross the goal. I think they have. Is that brand? But it's. Shoot. Oh, right in front of my god dang face. <sighs> Let me wrap this up and I get right back at you guys. As you see, I'm dragging two carts. So one of the tips I give you guys when you do Instacart and you do do these big orders, I typically don't. But as you see, this was for 46. I thought it was for 50, but it's for 46. This was 17 items. This was 29, but I think it's more than that. I'm gonna have to see once I finish them. But my tip is never try to put these in the same cart. Two orders, you don't want to have that confusion. Just go ahead and get two orders and uh, get two separate carts. It take more time, but it's sometimes the way you got to do it. But let me check out. I get at you. Well, there you go. It's snowing out here. Hmm, little flurries. Shouldn't be no problem, but eh, it's a nice size order. We're gonna see what we end up with once I complete it. So definitely a hassle, but you see I did it in about 40 minutes. This is why I say I when you do these kind of orders, they do give you more bang for your buck. That's why I always tell you guys, definitely if you haven't already. Make sure you download these shopping ones or you do the shopping ones because this was one trip. I'm in the same store. I'm parked. So you're saving gas. You're not having to worry about all this driving around. So it's like beneficial to you on and it saves your car. And it's good money. I mean, it'll take me probably 10 trips to make the same amount that I'm gonna make for this order by doing the restaurant order. So if you are haven't already seen the wisdom in doing some of these shopping orders, I encourage you guys to download it today. Go out there and get you some good money. And I probably should put the dog food in first. Hold up. Gotta stick it all the way in the back now. All right, that's done with that one. And then, as you see, they both kind of going right in the same place. First order is going, and then I'm going like a maybe two blocks down the road, which is funny. They both have O as their last name, so maybe they related. Who knows? But going to take care of this, get this done with, and then we'll be back at it. Don't really have anything on Uber today. It's been Instacart and DoorDash. That's leading the way. But after I finish this order, I should be over, I wanna say I'll be over $70 once I get done with this one. So pretty good start to the day. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. So I'll let you guys know how we're doing. You guys stay blessed, this is my second. And that's what I'm telling you another shopping order you just saw earlier i was at myers now we're here at jewels do you want to take this one or sure. okay Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Well, let's go and take care of this. All right, guys. It ended up being exactly almost what it was. A little less. Not at over $50, but $46. Kind of sus, to be honest. Uh, 
I don't understand. I thought that would be a little bit higher. I had to add items. And then the back and forth, I'm kind of shocked it was only for 46. But I'll take it. That puts me at around 60 bucks on the day so far. It's around 9.45. So hopefully we continue to get good orders. But that's just a case in point why you should take those orders. I mean, that was a pretty nice order. The second drop off was only three minutes away. So hopefully we continue to get good orders like that. But this is why I tell you all the time. This is why I do multi-apping because you can get, you make a lot more money by instead of just waiting around because breakfast from Uber or DoorDash is not really hitting today. It's still been what I'm seeing a common theme of. People are really just ordering groceries out of stores now. They don't want that. They want convenience, but when it comes to getting food, they'll just go out and get it, but they'll still pay you the convenience of not going to shop. They'll let you shop for them because that takes a little bit more time, but as to picking up food and with restaurants getting a little bit better with having your meals made for you, you know, by going online, it's not as hard as it used to be. You don't have to sit there as they prepare it because you're not ordering it anymore. They'll have it ready where you can go in, come in, go grab it, and go. And they are doing that with stores too. So definitely, like I said, keep yourself abreast of what these apps are doing so that you guys can make better and better decisions. But you guys stay blessed. I will get at you guys. Uh, probably later on today, but we'll see. But just wanted to show you guys how the shopping experience was with those two orders. So you guys stay blessed, and I'll holla at you later. Take care.